processes of the respiratory system. Pulmonary ventilation Mechanical flow of air into and out of the lungs External respiration Exchange of gases between the pulmonary air spaces and the blood Internal respiration Exchange of gases between blood and tissues Structural portions of the respiratory system Upper respiratory system Designed to conduct air into and out of the lower respiratory system Structural portions of the respiratory system Lower respiratory system Contains a set of conducting ducts that carry air to the exchange surfaces. You need to know Their order, structural portions of the respiratory system Lower respiratory system Respiratory portion Microscopic anatomy of a lobule Pulmonary ventilation inspiration Muscles of inspiration Primary muscle Diaphragm, only muscle active during normal breathing or apnea. Secondary muscles Active during deep breathing Sternocleidomastoid Scalenes External intercostals Pulmonary ventilation expiration Muscles of expiration Primary muscle Diaphragm is inactive. Secondary muscles active during deep breathing. Internal intercostals. External oblique. Internal oblique. Transversus abdominis. Rectus abdominis. Pressure changes in pulmonary ventilation and Boyle's law. Pressure is inversely related to volume. Summary of inspiratory and expiratory events. Factors affecting pulmonary ventilation Surface tension Surfactant decreases surface tension thus preventing alveolar collapse Compliance High compliance means the lungs and thoracic wall expand easily Low compliance means that they resist expansion Factors affecting pulmonary ventilation Decreased compliance Tuberculosis Scarring of the lungs Pulmonary edema, retention of fluid in lung tissue Respiratory distress syndrome, lack of surfactant in premature infants Paralysis of respiratory muscles Emphysema, destruction of elastic fibers in alveolar walls Factors affecting pulmonary ventilation Airway resistance Any condition or obstruction of airways that increases resistance Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, asthma Emphysema Chronic bronchitis Lung volumes and capacities Factors affecting external respiration Partial pressure of gases Alveolar surface area Diffusion rate and distance Solubility of each gas and molecular weight of the gas Hemoglobin affinity Factors affecting external respiration Dalton's law Atmospheric pressure is the sum total of all partial pressures of all gases in the atmosphere. N278% 597.4 mm Hg O221% 158.8 mm Hg CO2 greater than 1% 3 mm Hg Factors affecting external respiration Dalton's law and high altitude sickness Sea level, PO2 160 mm Hg 10,000 feet, PO2 110 mm Hg 20,000 feet, PO2 73 mm Hg 50,000 feet, PO2 18 mm Hg Factors affecting external respiration Henry's law 
quantity of a gas that will dissolve in solution is proportional to the partial pressure and the solubility coefficient, SC, of the gas. SCCO2 equals 0.57. SCO2 equals 0.024. SCN2 equals 0.012. Factors that affect oxygen transportation by hemoglobin pH, blood acidity, partial pressure of CO2, blood temperature 2,3 bisphosphoglycerate, BPG, the effect of blood pH on the affinity of hemoglobin for O2, increased pH of blood, more basic, the greater the affinity. Decreased pH of blood, more acidic, the lower the affinity. The effect of PCO2 on the affinity of hemoglobin for O2. Low PCO2, the higher the affinity. High PCO2, the lower the affinity. H2O plus CO2. Boer effect. H20 plus CO2 carbonic acid, H2CO3, H plus plus HCO3. The effect of blood temperature on the affinity of hemoglobin for O2. Lower the temperature, the greater the affinity. Higher the temperature, the lower the affinity. The difference between fetal and maternal hemoglobin for O2 affinity. For efficient gas exchange between a fetus and its mother. Fetal hemoglobin has a higher affinity for O2 than maternal hemoglobin. Summary of gas exchange during both external and internal respiration. O2 is carried on hemoglobin forming oxyhemoglobin. 7% of CO2 is carried as dissolved CO2. 25% of CO2 is carried as carbaminohemoglobin. 70% of CO2 is carried as bicarbonate ions. Summary of gas exchange during both external and internal respiration. Haldane effect, the lower the oxyhemoglobin, the higher the CO2 carrying capacity of the blood. Deoxyhemoglobin binds more readily with CO2. Deoxyhemoglobin also acts as a better buffer absorbing more H+, causing more bicarbonate to form. Nervous control of pulmonary ventilation and the respiratory centers. MRA, controls the basic rhythm of ventilation. PA transmits inhibitory impulses to the inspiratory area. AA transmits stimulatory impulses to the inspiratory area. Proposed mechanism of ventilation control. Chemical regulation of respiration. Aortic body, cluster of chemoreceptors located in the wall of the aortic arch that respond to H+. Carotid bodies. Cluster of chemoreceptors located in the walls of the L and R carotid arteries that respond to H+. Central chemoreceptors, located in the medulla oblongata also respond to H+.